friends, hope you're doing well. This is a little different today because I'm uh, filming during the daytime, which is strange for me. I usually film these like at night because uh, it tends to be quieter, but I woke up early today and I am feel, feel like getting after it. Uh, so here we are. <laughs> anyway, uh, today I want to talk about some things I've learned um, recently, recently, over the last couple years, I guess, and I'm constantly reminding myself of uh, the things, simple things you could do to uh, increase your health outcomes, so to speak. Uh, I'm obviously not a doctor. I'm just a person who uh, has reached the age where I have to start caring about my health. So, uh, doing, making some lifestyle changes. Uh, and I want to share those with you uh, in the hopes that maybe you're a little younger than me and maybe you're not as far down the bad path as I am to get the full-blown diabetes and the full-blown uh, high blood pressure, cholesterol, all that crap. So uh, the biggest thing I have found, or at least what my research, which aka Googling and reading medical studies, um, we had that research, sure. You know, I'm not just like looking at blogs. I'm looking at the actual medical studies and doing my best to understand what, what comes out of them. But uh, it seems time and time again, the thing I keep coming back to is green tea. Uh, like green tea seems like it solves, maybe not, it solves is probably the wrong word. It helps, it massages a lot of problems. Uh, so drink green tea. Black tea is also good. Um, so green tea and black tea are the same tea. It comes from the same leaf. It just depends on how they process it. Um, and I think black tea has more caffeine. But other than that, I think the health benefits you get from one, you get from the other, probably. Again, not a doctor, not a scientist. I just see green tea, black tea, and I know the same plant. So I mean, you try both if you want. I prefer green tea. It's a little less, uh, I don't want to say harsh. Try them both. See what you think. Um, don't want to color your opinion. But basically, it, it's the dosage recommended is, is four cups of, I think the study I read was four cups of black tea a day. And over a month, it uh, the participants, and they had 50 adult, adult I don't know if they were men, I think they're, they're adults, who had high, uh, high uh, cholesterol, high blood pressure, high blood pressure. Um, and they had 50 of them, and they, they did a controlled study, and then they swapped. So 25 did it one way, 25 did the other. Uh, the other way was drinking four cups of water a day. Uh, and so the result was that their uh, arteries widened on average 5 to 15%, which is huge. And so if, if you think of that, um, what widening the arteries does, it makes your blood work better. And that gets the endocrine system working better. And so everything just works better. So, uh, and then, but it said like the effects were relatively short lived and you kind of had to keep that consumption level. So the takeaway there, the first TLDR is drink more green tea, uh, or black tea, you know, whichever you like better. The trick there is a lot of the green tea you see at, um, like gas stations, check the labels because there's a lot of artificial sweeteners, which like, it's not going to kill you, but like. It's not great for your gut biome. So like the best way to do it is just to get the bag tea, which I learned, this is a side thing I learned. Apparently you could just stick green tea bags into cold water and make cold green tea that way. Like for the longest time, I thought it had to be like a hot brood, but no, it's like, it takes the same amount of time. It's not like an overnight thing where you have to leave it. It's like, you just stick it in the cold water for two minutes and the, the, it absorbs in the water. And I was like, what? I've been heating up my tea like an asshole this whole fucking time. And I could have just been dipping it in the cold water because I like cold tea better. Uh, but I do do hot tea sometimes. It's, it's nice to like hold the, the warm cup. You know? So you hear the cars going around. I don't know if you can hear those or not. That's why I usually do these videos at night. Because um, we live kind of close to a busy street and people are dickheads because there's like not really lights kind of for like a mile or two stretch so people like to gas it um and there's never speed traps so you know it's a one might look like getting older waving my finger slow down you damn kids on your scooters um but yeah so like it's it's
it's good for high blood pressure. It's good for cholesterol because there's something in it, you know, the antioxidants um, kind of help keeping the cholesterol from sticking and becoming black on your arteries. It's widening the arteries, kind of making them more, um, can't think of the word I'm looking for, more flexible. Flexible, yeah, it's kind of, that'll work. Uh, so that, you know, they can handle blood pressure better. Um, I've read some, some benefits that it helps with diabetes, pre-diabetes. It's, it feels like a bit of a miracle fluid, but again, you know, if, if you don't make other lifestyle changes, you can't just eat like dog shit and like pound a green tea with your fucking massive burrito. Like that's not gonna fix shit. Like it's gonna help, but like, it, 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 you're, <laughs> that's like bringing a fucking super sucker to a house fire. Like it's gonna help, but like, is it? <laughs> So, like, but that's if you're doing other things. If you're thinking of, like, you know, cutting back on red meat. You know, red meat's the big one because it's a high in saturated fat, so high in cholesterol. You know, get the chicken instead. It's fine. Chicken, a lot of times chicken's better anyway. Uh, you know, avoid fried stuff a little bit. You know, if you don't have high stuff, you can enjoy it, you know, once, twice a week. But, like, try not to get the french fries every day. You know, get the side salad sometimes. Um... So, like, that's, you know, kind of the big things uh, there, obviously, you know, but you already knew that. And so it's it's just a matter of, like, wh- how can you make that sustainable? So, like, adding fish, doing a fish dish once a week instead of, you know, your, your meat dish, um, adding in vegan protein-based, uh, protein-based, plant-based proteins instead. You know, Satan is one that I really like, and this isn't even from like the moral of like, save the animals, save the environment sort of thing, which there's a benefits to. Uh, but Satan is legitimately, it slaps. It's the best. Like, go try, get some Satan. It's like high in protein. It tastes good. It's got a good texture. Like, it's not weird. It's awesome. Like, I cannot recommend. There used to be this vegan burrito place. Uh, but the guy that ran it closed it down because he wanted to, like, travel and he just didn't want to be, he thought it was, like, a lot of stress for, like, not a lot of reward, which is fair. Uh, because, like, he was making good money, but, like, he was working, you know, crazy hours, because you have to if you're running a restaurant, right? Um, but he made these Satan burritos that were just amazing. And it was so good. And I need to hit him up and be like, hey, man, since you're not running the restaurant anymore, can you give me the recipe for that? Because I I miss those burritos. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's great. And you, you could serve it to people. They wouldn't know it wasn't some kind of, uh, like, beef product. Like, it's so good. Um, so you think about, you know, swapping out one, two meals. You know, one, two meals for a vegan meal. One, two meals for a fish, you know, to get the omega-3s. Like right there, you're you're doing a you know a two hand swing where you're getting one bad thing off and one good thing in. Like that four times a week out of the I don't know how many meals you you people eat because I usually do two a day anymore because I usually fast uh, and I'm trying to be more caloric restricted. Um, but if you if you think of it that way, you know that's so if I did it, that's that's four meals out of what fourteen on average um and if if normal people three meals a day that's 21 meals you know that's that's a pretty big difference of like taking four bad things out and putting four good things in you know that's that's substantial that that makes a difference over over the long haul and so then you can think about other things like uh ground flaxseed which is really good for it's got a lot of omega-3s a lot of good vitamins and that shit you could just I got a big bag from Costco. You could just throw a spoonful into basically fucking anything, and you wouldn't even know it was there. Like, I throw it on salads. I throw it in my Greek yogurt, which is another thing. If you want a high-protein, healthy snack, Greek yogurt. Oh, it's so good. Uh, I love me some Greek yogurt. I get the flavor, the oikos. I think that's how you pronounce it. O-I-K-O-S. It's like triple zero. And the, the cherry one, the strawberry one, and the blueberry one are great. But the triple berry, which has all three berries, sucks. Don't get that one. <laughs> get the ones that are just like one flavor. That's the way to do it. And throw a little, like a half spoonful of flax here and there. And you pound that stuff. Boom. It's like a high protein, low fat snack. It's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
else that's doing good stuff for you. And then, um, so that's kind of the diet thing. Fasting also helps. You know, the, there's something called intermittent fasting, if you're not familiar. Basically, you just eat dinner early, don't eat breakfast, and don't snack. That's it. And you try to keep the window, you know, 16 by 8 is the, the common, the most common form of it, where you go 16 hours without eating or taking any calories in. So, um, you could, a lot of people say you can do diet soda. A lot of people, some people say, oh, diet soda, this stuff that kicks you out of the, but if you're just doing it for the caloric benefit, which is the most of the benefit, like drink your diet soda. If that keeps you sustainable, fuck, just do it. You know, drink the diet soda. I even do it where I let myself have uh, coffee with a little bit of flavoring. Because at the end of the day, my, my game is caloric restriction to just cut back on the eating, give my digestive system a break, and it's like a splash of fucking creamers, not really changing that much. So get that splash of creamer in there. If that if that keeps you sustainable and compliant and you can do it more days than you can because you put your little fucking creamer in, great, yeah, A plus, go do it. I should be a doctor. I'm just tell people, you fucking put your creamer in, fuck who cares, like whatever. <laughs> Life is short, drink the coffee creamer. <laughs> just watch out for how much sugar is in those fucking coffee creamers because there's fuck loads of sugar in those and if you're trying to avoid diabetes that, that little splash can add up really quick like you'd be if you if you actually measure out like how much i remember I, you look at the thing and you're like oh it's not too bad and then you like do the, the what their serving size is it's like a teaspoon like a little spoon worth i'm like fuck you i'm doing like four of those <laughs> so uh you know switching to non-sugar creamer this is part of it um, let's think what else what else is there uh, there's one artificial sweetener that's recommended it's called allulose and somehow that um, uses the same blood transporters that glucose does um, so that kind of helps um, shuttle around blood sugar it helps reduce blood sugar spikes so if you mix that in with coffee with your tea whatever it's you know and you eat that with the meal. Good. It's great. Uh, speaking of meals, after meals, uh, go for a walk. Do some house chores, whatever. Do Ten minutes of light activity. Um, and that has like a 30%, up to a 30% ability to blunt glycemic spikes. Which that's, if you're, that's a fancy term for high blood sugar. Uh, which, you know, not just diabetes, diabetics get that, but like anybody. If you eat a high carb meal, go for a walk. 10 15 minutes do some house chores 10 15 minutes ride your bicycle 10 15 minutes walk around the fucking apartment the hallways if you need to because it's cold out sucks outside and you don't have a bike just get up and walk around your apartment put things into order that's good if you go back a couple videos put could make your list and every time you eat a meal be like i'm gonna go fucking because think about this if you drank green tree every day you just drank like two cups a day right you took some fish oil pills boom that's easy you do those two things no fucking problem that you made a list of all the things that's wrong with your house your apartment your life things that you could fix in one session that wouldn't take too long you know there's if you sit in a room with a piece of paper and a pen for 10 minutes i promise you you'll come up with 100 that things that are like that would take not a lot of time but i've been bugging you for a while make that fucking list and then after a meal set a timer for 15 minutes or whatever and try to knock out one or two of those things and i if if you do that for a month i can guarantee like all of your health markers will be better you'll probably feel better you'll have like a better living space that you're happier with like it i hate to be like that guy that's like you can fix your depression with just fuh, fuh, fuh. and it's like well yeah it's easier said than done dick face but like if you could push yourself to do that i promise you that you will be in a better place mentally at the end of that month than you were at the beginning of the month so that's that's my advice that's that's what i'm thinking about drink some green tea eat more vegetables fruits are also good for the fiber that berries you know apples pineapples uh strawberries blueberries all good bananas are good too they're a little high on the glycemic index though so like if you have prediabetes or diabetes bananas not so much 
strawberries, blueberries, pretty good though. Um, apples are also a little high, so I get the pre-sliced apples from the grocery store because I'm a fancy bitch, and I just know myself I'm not gonna cut them up because I'm too lazy. But like, if it's pre-sliced shit, like it's, uh, it's good to go. I can just open the thing and wonderful, just smack the mic. That's fine. Yeah. So, um, those I think those are the big things. Like, get more activity. Uh, and change your fucking diet, take some supplements, get some flaxseed, don't be a dick face, like, you know most of this shit, like, some of this shit you probably don't know, but most of this stuff is not coming as a huge surprise, like, eat a little less red meat, eat less fried foods, eat more fish, eat more veggies, <laughs> done, like, don't let your health fucking slip, okay, I'm 36, I got these problems now, it sucks, it, it fucking sucks, don't, don't let this happen to you. Fix your shit. If you're young, if you're if you're less than my age, get your shit together. Let's do this together. Let's fucking clean our fucking houses up. Let's, let's uh, hang the fucking dog leash hook thing. Like, let's go. Let's get some work done. Let's put things in order. And let's put ourselves in order. And I guarantee if we can all hold each other accountable, I think we'll all be better off for it. And we'll just, it'll be worth it. I promise you. So, that's that's what is in my head. That's what I wanted to talk about. And I was the one to talk about it so bad I filmed it during the day instead of waiting for the night. So, you're welcome, America. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's all I got today. So, I hope you're doing well. And if not, I hope that turns around for you. And if you want to manifest it turning around, do all the shit I said. A smart bully coming at you. Taking your lunch money and giving you flexi. <laughs> And green tea. Drink your flaxy and green tea smoothly. I don't know if that would be good. That might be gross. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.